In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to animate this smooth light transition. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll build this transition from scratch without using a lot of effects to make it look really unique, so stick around. To follow along, you might want to download the project file. Alright, let's dive in. This is the comp we'll work with. I've already added a background solid with a gradient ramp, going from yellow on the right side to cyan towards the left. Let's set keyframes for the start and end of the ramp though. Next we create another solid, this time a dark blue color. Then we grab the ellipse tool and draw a mask around the bottom left corner. We open the mask property and set the mask feather to around 660 pixels. And let's add a keyframe for the mask path. We create one more solid, this time a fresh pink color and again draw a round mask, this time much smaller, maybe around here. We open the mask property and set the mask feather to around 470 pixels. And again set a keyframe for the mask path. We set the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to around 60%. This time we duplicate the solid, move the mask shape out of the screen above the top right corner, scale it up a bit. And make it really bright by setting the opacity to 100% and setting the blending mode to add. This will be our main light. Then we duplicate the solid once more, press Shift Command Y to open the solid settings and change the color to a bright blue. Okay. Then we take the mask and adjust it. Move it into the screen and adjust the shape. Maybe like this. You can already see how nicely these colors blend into each other. You could use different colors of course, I think it's important to have some contrast between colors and between bright and dark. Let's animate. We select all layers and press U to see all keyframes. Then go to 48 frames in the timeline and let's start with the top one. Quickly decreasing the screen size. This blue light goes down to the bottom left corner, out of the screen. Our main light as well. A small pink spot, and guess what, as well, out of the screen. The dark blue area moves the opposite direction to the right bottom corner, out of the screen as well. And finally, let's move the yellow start of the ramp over here towards the left upper corner. And the cyan end of the ramp towards the bottom right corner. Let's check out what we've created. The light is moving through and along the way you can see these glowing forms appear, which I think are really pretty. All done with just a few basic shapes and masks. Now we select all keyframes, open the graph editor, make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Grab all the left points, move them down and at the same time pull the handles to the right. Then the same with all right points, until we have a nice curve like this. The highest speed should be somewhere in the middle. Let's have a look. Awesome. Let's add some footage. We want the cut to be after 24 frames, so the first pick ends here. Let's add the second one as well, starting at 24 frames. Now we need a mask to hide and reveal the footage. We add a new solid, color white and name it mask. Then we grab the ellipse tool and add a round mask up here above the top right corner and set the mask feather to 500. We go to the beginning and add a mask path keyframe. Then we go to 60 frames and move it down to the bottom left corner. It moves the same direction than our light. At 24 frames we make sure it covers all of the screen. We quickly open the graph editor and smooth the beginning and the end of the animation. 
the curve looks like an M. To make sure the transition is completely transparent at the beginning and end, we quickly animate the mask opacity. Set a keyframe at the beginning and set the opacity to 0, after 5 frames to 100. At 55 frames, another keyframe, and at 60 frames, we set it back to 0. We hide the mask layer. Next, we select our background layer and add the set matte effect. Then we take the matte from our mask layer. Set the source to effects and masks. Copy the effect and paste it to all the other layers. I quickly need to fix the footage files. Oh, here you are. The second one is okay. Let's add an adjustment layer, Option Command Y, above the footage and name it Exposure. Then we add exposure to that layer and set a keyframe for exposure at 10 frames. Then set it to around 2.5 at 24 frames. Then set it back to 0 at 45 frames. This brightens up the footage just before and after the transition, which is a nice little detail. Speaking of which, <laughs> let's add one last thing. OK, which basically means out of focus blur. Instead of using plugins, let's create that effect by ourselves. With no layer selected, we grab the ellipse tool double click, which creates a round shape. Fill linear gradient. Then we open the ellipse property, set the size to 500 by 500 pixels, and quickly name it Bokeh. Then we solo the new layer for now. Let's adjust the gradient fill and replace the pink by a much brighter color. And adjust the gradient. Let's change the stroke to wide and set the width to 2 pixels. We set the opacity of the gradient fill to 35% and the blending mode to screen. The opacity of the stroke to 60%. Let's see. Awesome, blends in nicely. Then we add a Gaussian blur and set the blur radius to around 3. Maybe 5 is even better. And we add fill to be able to change the overall color quickly and choose a bright pink for now. Let's set the endpoint at 6 frames and let it flicker a little bit by animating the opacity. We set a keyframe for the opacity and set it to 50%. Two frames later to maybe 5. Then back to 50. At the end 0. That's our basic bokeh animation. Now we need to place these shapes along the transition. We start at the top right corner, then move down alongside the light to the bottom left corner. Adjust the color and blur a little for each shape. Size-wise, I would choose two or three different sizes and stick to those. Awesome. Finally, let's pre-compose all these layers Go to Layer, Transform and flip the precomp to change the direction of the transition. Awesome, you just created a beautiful, unique transition. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side, I'd really appreciate it. And hit the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!